Hello there YouTube, it's Square John here with a little video response to T-Mon's one, one folder for everything video, which I believe was also a response in itself. So, I'm not much of a one for knives, well I love knives, I'm not one for knives to be spending at least for a big price, but I do love knives. If I had uh, the money for it, I'd be out there buying great knives. Um, so far, for what I have, this here plain and simple linear lock folder is very adequate for me. 2.5 blade, I would like, I have the, uh, the, uh, three inch blade, but as you can tell, it, it doesn't add up at all. There's no measure up to the little 2.5 blade. This one was Walmart for $5. This one's at Academy for $7. So never a good idea to go with Walmart. The clip itself is not very sturdy. The lock, you can barely tell it's locked. No play. Sharp, I guess, but still, it's not me. Eh. Look at that, there's, there's splits. It's terrible. So, five bucks, well, that was wasted. Here, seven dollars. It's all steel, connected, glued perfectly, bolted down perfectly. Super strong lock. No going anywhere. No, no play, it's not going anywhere. No maintenance necessary, you just need to wipe off, clean, oil, here and there, very little, so does the job for me every single day. I love it. I would love to upgrade to a buck. And to test the style, I had this is why I carry my knives and just <laughs> got it at the uh, thrift store for like 10 cents. It's a little duck. Anyway, this brass folder, another knockoff. Very sharp though. No play. It's pretty good. Just in case I'm planning to switch to a buck. Good practice use. I do like it a lot. I would I would pretty much need a uh, carrying case for it. Because inside the pocket, the brass gets all scratched up and it, it's cheap stuff. So not much to begin with anyway. But yes, very good knife too. I like it. Very too sharp that I cut myself maybe three times with that stupid knife. It's being careless. This one here. It's a good one. It really is, for me at least. Of course, I'd like to upgrade to a buck. Now, aside from that, I used to carry, by used to, I mean a week ago, from a week ago, I had the Tinker, and I'll show you. There we go, just a little Tinker. Swiss Army, very plain and simple. However, I gave it to a friend. He he was needing a knife, so I decided to give him one. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the replacement for the Tinker, which is a mini champ. I mean, I should be getting that Friday. So perhaps there'll be a little review on that, or at least a unboxing. Now that's for t Mon himself. I have a little suggestion, not a suggestion, but I have here my own little, not a bobblehead, but he's just there. It, it's Darth Vader. <laughs> I get him from thinkgeek.com, as well as that little stapler right there. Hey, who's? So, this Darth Vader is really awesome. He, 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 can, he can be mounted on a on a little, let me bring him over here. He can be mounted on a dashboard, but I like him here at my desk. Voice activated, little clips, two little batteries. See, there's a sensor for the, well, if you're on a bumpy road in a car, he'd move and sense it, so yeah, it's really cool. It's pretty funny. I like him. He, he, well, it was like eight bucks. He, they don't think they sell them anymore, but I guess your bobble has work. 
I just have a uh, little Darth Vader character there. And that's it. That's my little review. And Square John signing off for next time. With a word from Darth Vader. Oh, you're trying to mount. Haha. <laughs>